friends today we will discuss how to examine chest x-ray in part 4 in this section we will discuss about examination of lung that is examination of third section which contains a b c d and e for examination of chest x-ray it contains three sections first section is history which i have already discussed it contains why when whose and where second section is reef r for rotation i for inspiration p for penetration which i have already discussed come to the third section in the third section i have already discussed about examination of airway today we will discuss examination of lungs which is examination of breathing itself examination of breathing means examination of lungs how to examine lungs we will discuss later lung contains air that's why normal lung looks gray in color having bronchovascular marking within which are visible normal lung does not look more black or more white lung looks abnormal on x-ray when change its normal color that means when it looks abnormally black or abnormally white with loss of its bronchovascular markings as i have already told air will appear black on x-ray fat will appear dark gray on x-ray sub tissue will appear gray on x-ray bone and calcium will appear white on x-ray metal will appear bright white on x-ray gas inside lung will appear gray on x-ray gas outside the patient body that is room air will appear black on x-ray as we proceed from air to metal density gradually increases that means on comparison air has less density and metal has more density in the other word you can say brightness is directly proportional to density on x-ray two terms present lucency and opacity that means radio lucent or radio opaque more lucent means more black in color more opaque means more white in color lucency in favor of less density and opacity in favor of more dense as i have already told change of normal color of lung is abnormal and also change of its normal size is also abnormal that means increased or decreased size of the lung is abnormal always start the examination of lung from its hilar border that is from first position to see any discontinuity along grayish border of lung and gradually see at second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh position to see any discontinuity along grayish border of lung if there is any discontinuity present along grayish border of lung that means it is abnormal normally there is no discontinuity present along its grayish border after examination of grayish border of one lung compare with other side and compare from top to bottom and examine which area is abnormally black or abnormally white Let's how to recognize pleural effusion 
and pneumothorax on x-ray. Pneumothorax means air inside pleural cavity. Pleural effusion means fluid inside pleural cavity. This slide shows left side chest is more black on comparison to right with loss of its bronchovascular markings. Color of the left side of the chest is more black that is similar to the air outside or room air. Bronchovascular markings are visible on right side which is absent in left side. If on examination one side of the lung is abnormally black that is more black with loss of its bronchovascular markings, it is in favor of pneumothorax, that is air inside pleural cavity. Another finding is that decreased size of the left lung, that is left side collapsed lung with left side pneumothorax. This slide shows right side of the chest is more black on comparison to right with loss of its bronchovascular markings. Another finding is that decreased size of the grayish border of the right lung that is collapsed right lung with right side pneumothorax. This slide shows right side of the chest is more black on comparison to right with loss of its bronchovascular markings. Another finding is that decreased size of the grayish border of the right lung that is collapsed right lung with right side pneumothorax. One point you have to remember when one lung is black it is in favor of pneumothorax. When both lungs are black it is in favor of emphysema. Again I am telling emphysema not seen in one lung. This slide shows left lung is white that means increased density of the left lung on comparison to right. In other words you can say fluid collected inside pleural cavity. Fluid may be pus, blood or water inside. Something collected inside pleural cavity which is denser than air. This is a case of left side pleural effusion. Due to massive pleural effusion, no air fluid level is seen. This slide shows right lower lobe is abnormally white or more dense on comparison to left side. With air fluid level is seen. This is a case of mild to moderate pleural effusion on right side. Left side of the slide shows normal chest x-ray. Right upper x-ray shows left side of the chest is more white or more dense on comparison to right. That means something collected inside left pleural cavity. It may be blood, pus or water inside. Right lower x-ray shows left side of the chest is more black or less dense on comparison to right. That means air collected inside pleural cavity. It is a case of left side pneumothorax. It is not a case of emphysema as emphysema seen bilaterally. Emphysema does not seen in one lung. The area present in between two lung is called as a mediastinum. In this slide, heart looks smaller in size, but actually not, where it is covered by lung from both sides. Another finding is that left lower lobe shows more white or abnormally white on comparison to right side. That means increased density of left lower lobe on comparison to right side. It's a case of pneumonia which is confined to left lower lobe. This slide shows the area both side of the heart shows abnormally white. That means increased density of both lower lobes. It is a case of bilateral pneumonitis. 
This light shows left lower lobe looks more black on comparison to other. That means decreased density of left lower lobe with loss of bronchovascular markings. It is a case of pneumothorax which is confined to left lower lobe. Pulmonary edema is not pleural effusion. Pulmonary edema is two types. One is alveolar edema, another is interstitial edema. Normally alveoli contains air. That's why alveolar looks black in color. When fluid collected inside alveoli, it is called as a alveolar edema. In this case, alveoli looks more white. So, whole lung looks more white. In interstitial edema, fluid collected inside interstitium, where alveoli looks black, but white lines are appear around the alveoli. Let's go through a diagram and see the relationship between alveoli and interstitium. See the relationship between alveoli and interstitium and where they are located. Alveoli at the center which is surrounded by interstitium. When fluid collected inside alveoli, it is called as a alveolar edema. In this case, alveoli looks more white. So, whole lung looks more white. Age in figure. In interstitial edema, fluid collected inside interstitium, where alveoli looks black, but white lines are appear around the alveoli. Age in figure. See a case where patient was dyspneic and has pink frothing sputum. On examination, decrease oxygen saturation and crepitation and ronchi present bilaterally. On examination, middle part of both lobe looks abnormally white. That means looks more dense on comparison to other parts. It's a case of pulmonary alveolar edema. See a case of interstitial edema where alveoli looks black but white lines are appear around the alveoli. It is a case of interstitial edema. Left side a case of alveolar edema where fluid is collected inside alveoli of middle part of each lobe which looks abnormally white. Right side of the slide, a case of interstitial edema where fluid is collected inside interstitium. Look at the white lines are present middle part of each lobe which is not seen in alveolar edema. Generally, pulmonary edema seen in middle lobe of each lungs. Let's discuss about some tubercular lesions. White is when are seen in each lung parenchyma which is due to fibrosis. White is beads are seen in each lung parenchyma which is due to dense calcified foci. It's a case of miliary tuberculosis. See the slide where both lungs having lesion shows air is inside which is surrounded by whitish area. In the other word, whitish border with blackish area inside. These are cavitary lesions in tuberculosis. Thank you. Thanks for watching.